What is up guys, welcome back to another live in the UU tier. Uh, today we're using a, uh, a new background, as you can see. Uh, it's a nice little drawing that my friend made me for uh, the NPL Miners, uh, my team. Uh, as you can see, Thunder is T up there, Jirachi, Flygon, Snorlax, Entei, Keldeo, Clefable, and Mega Absol. Really nice, uh, very nice gesture from him. Uh, I also told them to incorporate my logo and the uh, NPL Miners logo, which is behind the team over here. It's really cool. And you have the uh, the moon eclipsing the sun and everything. It's really cool. But anyway, uh, today we're using a team passed to me by uh, Rob JR88 from the uh, NPL chat. Actually, I am in the NPL's Discord, and uh, he passed me a team in the um, in the team sharing, and he wanted me to use it, but I tweaked it a little bit. Uh, Tornadus T was no longer allowed. He had Tornadus T on the on the team, so I had to change that. Uh, for Tornadus I, I decided to give it Prankster Tailwind, uh, as well as Grass Knot, Focus Blast, and Hurricane. These were all originally on the set. Uh, then we have Ed here, Damprock. This was Hypnosis over here instead of Rest. Uh, I decided that Rest was probably a better idea uh, with everything else on the team. Then we have Scythe, which is the Kabutops. Uh, with uh, Anatomate Nature, it was originally jo Jolly. Everything else I didn't change, as you can see. Uh, Metagross, Shookaberry. This I didn't change at all. This is a cool set. Uh, Earthquake, Explosion, Meteor Mash, and Stealth Rocks. Very nice. Then we have Heliolisk, uh, Life Orb, Thunder with Volt Switch, Hyper Voice and Surf for those ground types, and... Oh, excuse me. Finally, we have Conk Elder. We're using Conk again. Uh, this was originally a, a Flame Orb set with Guts. I decided to switch it over to Sheer Force because uh, you get the boost on Ice Punch. That's about it, but... Uh, actually, let's go Iron Fist because most of these are punching moves, uh, so that works out better. <laughs> these three get a get a boost. Uh, Knock Off is the only one that doesn't, I believe. So let's get a game. We're also using a new skin, uh, if you can't tell by the team builder. Um, that's because I'm really tired of not being able to see the percentages on Pokemon when I scroll over them, and this actually fixes it. This is this fixes the entire problem. It's it's the showdown interface because I know that Jar was having a similar problem on his end, but now if you see here. Every time we scroll over any Mon, it always shows us all of the names, whereas when they were over here on the side, I couldn't see half of them. So this is really going to help. Uh, my Mons didn't matter, it was more my opponent's team. But we have, uh, I, I saw Jolteon and, uh, and Vaporeon, I thought it was a mono evolution team. Uh, this is kind of cool though, that it's, it's more scrunched up. Uh, the team is not all the way uh, spread out. This is kind of nice. Anyway, uh, I like Metagross as a lead here. He does have the Absol though, which could be annoying. Uh, so instead, I am actually going to lead with Conkeldur because it's got a pretty solid matchup in general. Uh, here's the Jolteon. We also have this uh, this nice little sun and moon um, HP bars, which is really cool. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for a Drain Punch, honestly. Uh, the worst he can do to me is like Volt Switch, but we're Salt Vest, so I'm not too uh, I'm not too concerned. Uh, and I'm assuming that either the, uh, the Vaporeon or the uh, Serena are going to come in here. Uh, that looks like uh, Specs damage as well, because I don't think Volt Switch would have done that much unless it was Specs. In comes the Clef Key. I get off a nice Drain Punch. That's going to do a ton. And uh, we are just going to go for another Drain Punch right here. Uh, if he wants to paralyze me or toxic me, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm, I'm just using this thing to break his team, basically. And uh, as long as it's alive, it can do that very well. He does go for the Thunder Wave. We do get off the Drain Punch, so this Klefki is going to go down. And we are back up to full. No spikes on our side, which is very nice, because as you could probably tell, this team does not have any hazard removal. This doesn't have rapid spin, so yeah. Uh, Got to deal with that. But in comes Jolteon again. Uh, and I am just going to go for another Drain Punch. Uh, again, the worst he can do is either Volt Switch or Thunderbolt. Uh, if he Thunderbolts, then he risks his Jolteon, which has a very good matchup against my team in general. Uh, but he does not have a good switch into this Drain Punch. Like, the best thing he can bring in is his Vaporeon. And even that's going to give me back, like, almost all my health. So, uh, and Vaporeon doesn't do anything to me. Uh, I'm paralyzed now. Even if he can't burn me anymore with Scald, he's just sitting there wish passing, basically. So, this is all right. Um, yeah, Conk putting in work. Arnold. <laughs> I didn't even notice these were nicknamed. Ed, Torrent Up. I did say Ed before, but Scythe, Gauntlet, Helix, and Arnold. Cool stuff. So he's going to go out into his Vaporeon, like I said before. Okay, well, we, we don't connect, unfortunately. Uh, but I am just going to go for another Drain Punch right here. Again, he does not have a good switch into this. Uh, by the way, he's playing with his, um, his Crocodile. I'm assuming that it is not uh, Intimidate, that it is rather Moxie. Not that he would bring it in on a Drain Punch anyway, uh, but I'm just going to go for another Drain right here. If he wants to go for Wish, that's fine. I will probably switch out into my Heliolisk on the following turn, uh, then we'll see what happens from there. Uh, but Heliolisk pretty much gives me a free Volt Switch, because, well, I mean, he has two immunities. Um, I can always go for Surf, though. We'll see. 
Uh, but Scald is doing the exact same amount as the health that I am gaining back. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I went up to the exact amount, same amount of health. So this is great. I am going to want to get my rocks up uh, at some point. I don't understand protecting there. Uh, I mean, yes, he gets his leftovers, but he's not gaining anything realistically. I do need to keep this, though. He goes out into Serena. I am going to go for another Drain Punch. That's going to do a ton. And uh, I'm actually going to get out of here because I do not want to be against this thing. I'm going to go out into Gauntlet here. He can U-turn, uh, but nothing on his team other than Crook. Well, maybe um, Absol as well. Uh, but I'm okay. Uh, he can't lower my attack thanks to clear body, which is really cool. Uh, I'm gonna go for stealth rocks here. I don't lose anything. He doesn't have hazard removal. His only way to stop hazards would be magic bounce with mega absol, but it's not in right now. So this is a very free rocks right here. And uh, that Jolteon is not gonna be able to volt switch forever. This Serena could be his rapid spinner, but uh, it does have to take 12% when it comes back in. So that's nice. Uh, we don't have T-Punch on this. But I do have a perfect counter to this being Heliolisk, and uh, then we'll decide what we go for on the following turn. Let's see what he does. He does just, just throw out a Scald. That's perfect. We are Dry Skin, of course. And I'm actually going to go for a Hyper Voice here because it hits the Serena and the Crocodile, uh, as well as the Jolteon. So uh, I don't know what he's going to expect here, but Hyper, uh, hyper Voice is definitely my play of choice. Uh, and then if he brings in Crook, I have a decision to make because it's either uh, Scarfed, He's going to bring in the Jolteon, that's fantastic. Hyper Voice is going to be able to do a lot of damage to this. And uh, I'm not staying in here. What do I go into? Um, I think... I think Metagross is expendable, so we'll sack that off as he goes for the Volt Switch. Uh, that's going to do a lot of damage, but uh, I'm assuming either Absol or uh, Crook are going to come in here. They have a lot of speed, actually. Uh, in comes Absol. The knockoff is on the way. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sacking this off. No reason to keep it. We should be good to win this game, though. He's going to go for the knockoff. I have Scarfed, um, Scarfed Hurricane on deck, which pretty much tears through his team at this point. Other than Vaporeon, which can definitely take one, uh, but definitely not two. So, let's go into, um, Politoed right here. Even if he knocks off, he doesn't really gain anything because my reign is up for eight turns right now. Uh, so I am just going to go for the uh, Scald right here. He's going to knock off my Damp Rock. And Scald is going to be able to deal a lot of damage to this Absol and burn it in the process. Which means now he can't take me out. Uh, so now I'm actually going to go for a Rest. And his Absol is basically dead to rocks at this point. He's going to go for the knockoff. It's not going to knock me out. We are going to get the Rest off. And uh, I'm going to burn off a turn. Uh, we're not Sleep Talk. So I don't risk giving his Vaporeon back health either. And like I said before, his only spinner is the Serena. I don't want to go hard into my uh, Tornadoes predicting that. I could go into Conk right here, but my Assault Vest is also something I do not want to lose because his Jolteon still has one more switch in. So if I can conserve one switch to that thing, that's perfect. He is going to go for the Play Rough. Uh, that actually ends up doing a little bit more than his knockoff. Um, stab. That's weird that it did that much. Uh, well, his knockoff did about 22 actually, uh, 20 as well. So it's not too surprising. I'm really liking this skin though. It fits well. Uh, in comes Serena. Uh, I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam, honestly, because if I wake up, I can knock this thing out. Maybe. He's going to go for the Rapid Spin, so there go my rocks. And uh, I am just going to go for the Ice Beam again. Trop Kick won't kill me, uh, because he's probably not invested in attack. And I don't have a good switch into this anyway, so Ice Beam is definitely my play. He goes into Vaporeon though. I'm going to get off this Ice Beam. He should be faster than me in theory, so I'm going to Encore him into whatever he goes for. Uh, if it's Wish, then okay. Well, no, he's not faster than me. He goes for Scald. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to Encore him into it. He can go into his uh, into his Jolteon right now. That would be a good play, but no, he's going to stay in just to Scald. Uh, that's absolutely fine. He gets a crit. Not too concerning. Uh, I am just going to go into Heliolisk here, and uh, then we fire off another free Hyper Voice, so... That's always nice. Um, and again, the only thing that threatens my Heliolisk is his uh, is his Crook. So Serena is going to come in, actually. Uh, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch because I want to get off some damage on this before I switch out. And Hyper Voice is a little bit too obvious, so I'm going to get out of here. And uh, we are going to head out into Tornadus, actually. Um, do I want to make that play now? Yeah, I want to make that play now. What's he going to do? He's going to go for the Synthesis. Okay, beautiful. So, now we get off a free Hurricane on anything on his team. 
it's gonna it's gonna kill Serena for sure. It's it's dead. Um, I really like Choice Scarf Torn, super cool. Uh, I think we kill everything. He can't switch in his Vaporeon to this. He's gonna go into Crook. Do we miss? We do miss. That's unfortunate. Um, he's not gonna go for EQ here, so I'm actually gonna switch into um, into Conk. Uh, this is getting bad, <laughs> actually. I need to, um, let's see what he does. He goes for the knockoff, fantastic. We are just gonna go for the drain punch here. I have a feeling that he is scarfed for some reason because I don't see another scarfer on his team. We know that Jolteon specs and uh, Serena is defensive. Go into Vaporeon, give me some health back. That's all I need you to do. Uh, he's gonna disconnect actually. We're gonna claim a victory here. Let's see if he comes back. I'm actually gonna pause it and if he comes back, we'll be back guys. Alright guys, so my opponent never ended up coming back. We did take that game, so we will continue on from here. Really sucks. Uh, I wanted to, to play that out, see how it would have finished, but... Uh, my opponent has a much more threatening team this time around. Uh, I really don't like the... I don't like the Shaman, uh, or the Primarina, actually. Primarina stops my, um, my Conkeldor from functioning properly. We're gonna lead off with, uh, Metagross here, though. Because the only threatening lead to Metagross is... Well, there's two. Uh, there's Mega Absol, and there's... Uh, the Rotom Heat. Uh, Rotom Heat I can switch into decently well with Kabutops. And Absol I can always go into uh, Conkeldur. So that's going to be my lead of choice. Uh, it beats the Azelf. It beats the... Uh, well, if it doesn't have Shadow Ball, that is. It beats the Primarina. Again, Shadow Ball. Um, Shaman might have Earth Power. And um, I don't believe that uh, Cobalion 2 it KOs me. And we have Earthquake, so we'll lead off with Metagross. And my opponent's taking quite a while once again. Love when people do this. I understand it's late, but... Uh, Alright, so he is going to lead off with the Zelf. That's perfect. Uh, I am just going to go for the Meteor Mash here because I expect a Taunt on my potential Stealth Rocks. There we go. And uh, we are going to get off this Mash. It's going to do a lot of damage. And I don't know if he's going to actually risk a... Uh, he is going to risk it. Okay. Let's go for the Meteor Mash. Uh, right there, he, he risked me having Bullet Punch because that would have taken him out from the range he was at, as you can see, would have done exactly half of what this did. So around 35%, uh, 35 to 38-ish. So yeah, that would have died, uh, and we would have not had rocks up on our side. Rocks are going to be annoying. Uh, he's going to go out into V-Flame, which is the, um, the Rotom. I expect a Volt Switch here, though. So I'm going to go for a Meteor Mash again. There's the Volt Switch. So something's going to take a huge hit right now. And... I'm kind of hoping it's Primarina. <laughs> uh, he's going to go out into Shaman. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to get off a huge hit on that. And now I'm going to attempt to get up my rocks. As rocks are going to hinder his um, his Rotom a lot. And we are going to go for another Meteor Mash right here. No reason not to. It kills this thing. He's going to forfeit. Okay, so we get up our rocks. That's awesome. And uh, I guess that was just too much for him to handle. <laughs> I hope this is not too bright for you guys. Uh, if it is, let me know in the comments, and I'll switch the background. It was just to show it off, because I found it was a really nice thing uh, that my buddy Tim did for me. He's got his signature down here. Um, I know he had a lot of trouble with like power outages and stuff like that while he was working on this, so it might seem a little bit rushed. But I told him to stylize even like the logo and everything. Uh, I told him not to make it like a copy-paste of the actual uh, PNGs when I told him to add them. But yeah. Anyway... So my opponent has a Beware. <laughs> that's fantastic. That's going to be hard to break. I mean, I have Hurricane, but that's about it. And he has a Clef Key. So. Alright. Let's attempt to um, get up our rain early, honestly, because we don't lose anything. He leads off with Clef Key. I was kind of expecting Nido Queen. That's why I led with this. Um, I'm going to go for an Encore on whatever he does. He goes for Spikes. Okay. Cool. And now we will go out into this guy. And uh, we are in the rain, so there goes some more spikes. And I think I'm just going to Swords Dance up. As uh, he could predict a Rapid Spin right here, which is what I would do. He's going to go out into Latias, and this thing is going to get obliterated right now by a Continental Crush. Obliterated. As he actually doubles back into Clef Key. Okay, great play. Great play. Um, he is going to take this not at all. Wow. Okay. Yo, that was a resist, guys. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> I'm going for a waterfall here. I know he's going to take it pretty well. Uh, but we have a chance to flinch. He's going to go for the hammer arm. He's going to knock us out. That's okay. I'm now going to go out into my Tornadus. And he no longer has a switch into Hurricane. At all. <laughs> that did zero. <laughs> yes, it did zero. Fluffy is busted. But uh, now you have to make a choice. Because <laughs> something is going to die. And getting rid of Klefki was perfect. That was just amazing. The fact that he let that die. Because now I get to spam Hurricane for the rest of the game. And I think this game is mine. Um, and being Scarfed means that we outspeed plus one Sharpedo as well. So, down goes the Beware. And I have two turns left of Rain. Let's see how he wants to play this. I would personally go into Nido Queen if I was my opponent. Yep. And he's going to go for an Ice Beam. So, I'm going to head out... Into Conkelder because we are Assault Vested. He might go for Rocks as well, knowing that this is a huge threat to him. But if he does that, then he loses his Nido Queen, and then the game is just mine. In comes Conkelder as he goes for Rocks. Okay, so he risked it, but it's okay. Um, I'm going to win with this now, actually. Uh, I'm going to go for the Ice Punch right here. He's going to go for Sludge Wave. It's going to do a good amount. Uh, ice Punch is going to put him, I think, in Mock Punch range, but it doesn't matter because we got a Freeze. Ouch. That sucks. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go for knock here because if he wants to switch in his Latias for whatever reason then it'll die uh, As we do get rid of the Nido Queen. That's fantastic Also, I wanted to cover a switch into anything else And I, I felt like knockoff was my best play because also I could get rid of an item on Como. He's actually gonna go hard into Como. That's interesting. I'm gonna go for an ice, ice punch. He goes for uh, specs clanging scales I expect it to be specs. Uh, I'm gonna go out into My Metagross right here, and we are gonna go for stealth rocks. Uh, I don't expect him to want to stay in um, but he doesn't have a great play right here. Like, he can't switch out on this, really. He's gonna go for another Clanging Scales. He's faster. Uh, I'm gonna get my rocks, and I think I'm going to keep this. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just gonna go for an Explosion in case he switches. Down goes Metagross, but now I get to go into... Into what? Um, <laughs> into Politoed. Uh, we're gonna go for an Ice Beam. This is gonna do a lot to us, regardless. Uh, I'm gonna go for an Ice Beam, but I have a little bit of an issue here. Uh, Ice Beam's not gonna do too much. It's gonna a crit and get 63% off. That sucks. I think that put, well, he was in hurricane range anyway. Uh, but we do still have the Damp Rock, so as long as... Okay. I think my play here is to go into Tornadus, spam Hurricane, and basically... He has to go into Lottie, right? So... No, he goes into Sharpedo first. Okay, I'm going for Kane. Twice. Here we go. We're Scarfed, so we still outspeed you at plus one, bro. He just gave us the game, essentially. I guess he didn't know we were Scarfed. Down goes Sharpedo. And uh, Lottie should die. Well, it won't die, but it'll die with uh, the combination of Hurricane plus Hyper Voice. So that is GG. My opponent just leaves. Uh, and we will get one more, I think, is fine for this episode. We are 3-0, three, uh, three and oh, I think. Uh, and, yeah. So, we have a, a little, another spike stacking team. I really hate this. Um, Alright. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with uh, this guy. With Kabutop, Scythe. Because I can jet this thing on the following turn. We're going to go for Stone Edge. He's going to go for Will-O-Wisp, okay. Um, we miss, unfortunately. I'm going to go for another Edge as he goes for Spikes. As we miss again. Uh, I'm really tempted to just click Continental, uh, Continental Crush at this point because it's really getting annoying. Uh, this should bring him down to a Sash easily, as it does with a crit. And we're going to go for Jet and knock this thing out uh, because we missed our first two Stone Edges. So, goodbye Frostlass. He only gets up two layers, so that's not too bad. We should be able to play around that. This is another team that is extremely weak, extremely weak to Hurricane Spam. So, I think Tornadus is getting the thumbnail for sure because we're probably going to win with it right here. Uh, my play would be to go into Lucario. He goes into Alakazam instead, because he wants to take a Waterfall, I guess. Uh, okay, I guess Psychic just kills. I'm going to... <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to now go out into... Um... Hmm. Actually, this is pretty bad. Probably has Shadow Ball. That could have been Specs damage. Let's go into um, Metagross, because I just want to get a Brox. He's going to go for Shadow Ball. He's going to knock us out. Okay, yeah, he's definitely a Life Orb. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Um, does Life Orb, hold on, Alakazam, I should get the skin for this as well, 
Uh, OU Life Orb with Psychic to Conkelder. Assault Vest. Um, but I don't have Spedef Investment. I think I'm max HP. Yeah, it's gonna kill. Damn. Um, Alright, so I have to go into this. And we have to go for a Scald. To break... Well, he doesn't have a Sash, but... He's actually gonna switch out into his Latias. Okay, that's fine. I can, I can deal with that. Um... Ice Beam it is, Psy Shock, okay, I'm still alive, that's the important part, and now we are going to switch out into Helix, take a Psy Shock, and fire off a Hyper Voice on the following turn, okay, we're not going to take a Psy Shock, because apparently he's like Specs or something, uh, we're going to go into Tornadus, we're going to hit Hurricane, uh, good news is though, that his, okay, we didn't kill, wow, <laughs> alright, um, that did 46, the good news is, that his Alakazam, is gonna have to take a hurricane right here. It's gonna take a lot, <laughs> and that might even be Mach Punch range. So let's go for it, I guess. Uh, we'll go for the Mach Punch. And if this actually kills, we might be in a pretty good spot because that's a regular Scizor. And yeah, that kills. Okay, beautiful. So as long as I can not get crit by the Lucario, I think. Why am I looking at Scarf Torn? That's insane. Yeah, it is. Uh, we're going to go for the Drain Punch here. He's going to go for the Swords Dance, and this is kind of scary. Uh, my Drain Punch is not going to do all that much, actually. Uh, I'm going to try to go for another one. He's going to go for a Roost. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm still doing the same amount of damage to you every turn, bro. Here's another Drain Punch. He goes for another SD. I don't think he can knock me out. Uh, I'm going to keep going for the Drain Punch as he goes for Bullet, punch, uh, for bullet and that did absolutely nothing, actually. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, his crook is gonna come in. It's gonna get an intimidate. Okay. All right, so I have to make a decision here Do I want to go for the drain? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. He gets a crit. Okay, that's unfortunate uh, We are gonna get a drain punch off that did a ton. Wow uh, And he's rocky helmet what? All right, well <sighs> That sucks. Okay, I'm going for mock. I think that's game uh, as long as his Lucario has some form of priority He wins. I'm gonna go for drain punch. Yeah, there's there's the extreme speed <laughs> and that's GG so, GG to my opponent. Last one's a loss, unfortunately, guys. But uh, I think the team's not bad, uh, especially with the tweaks. Uh, before the tweaks, it was actually doing pretty bad. Uh, so I will not... Um, I'm still going to give credit to the creator, but uh, I think that it need a lo needed a lot of fixes. Uh, Rob, if you're watching this, then yeah. Uh, especially the Torn T. Like, that was the biggest thing, of course, because it was no longer allowed in the tier. But nice team overall, great live. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, also tell me what you think of this background. Uh, if you think it's too bright. Uh, if you like the, the art style, let me know as well. I'll, uh, I'll give full credit to my, uh, my good friend Tim. And uh, I'll let him know that you guys think it's awesome. He'll probably see it in the comment section anyway. But that's about it. Thanks again, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.